My makeup didn't match my shirt. I'm not changing it. My hair is dirty. Roots are drying out. This is just how we're doing life at the moment. Hiya friends! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Just, you know, as I said in my other video, I just haven't had energy. And I'm just kind of, I don't want to film if it's not going to be good, if I'm just filming for the sake of filming. I just want to say I'm using the Raw Beauty Christie palette today. Oh my god, y'all. I still want to get the eyeliners and the one super shock that I missed um, when they did their restock, but look at that. Look at that. Today I'm doing an unboxing, which you probably already know from the title. We got a big boy here. Big old boy. Also, how do you like my little filming corner? I'm in my craft room. I don't know how the sound's gonna be. Are you kidding me that you have no battery? How dare you? All right, I have to stop filming for a little bit to charge this camera. So if it looks like anything changed, sorry. As I was saying, this is a big boy. I also was saying I'm in my new filming space. I have a little tapestry, a little cross stitch. There's a crystal up here. But yeah, enough about that. Let's just get started. Ooh. Did it. And we have the magazine on top with Katie Couric on it. And I'm gonna put that to the side so I can save it because I like looking at the prices later. We get another Bright Sellers scratch off and it'll give me credit towards the subscription. I don't know what this is for. What is oh this is for a friend for a FabFit Fun discount. 14 day free trial of HBO Max, which I already have, so uh, nine free meals from HelloFresh. I already have that, so if any friends want it. <laughs> FabFitFun sticker. And then a Sips Buy. It's like, I guess, a tea subscription. Interesting. First thing I'm gonna start with is this. It's a fluffy, furry, friendly, fresh faux blanket. Where is it from? Unhide Ink, I guess? It's a faux fur. My roommates are gonna come back from the library and I'm gonna be just cuddled up with this blanket. Ooh, ooh. One side's got this like flatter and one side's got this fluffier. And it's got the unhide. It says for love, not fur. Oh, this is a decent size. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do the rest of the video. Just like, just like this. Just. Oh, this is comfy. This is soft. This is a nice like, Sitting on the couch when it turns 30 degrees tomorrow and just cuddling up in it. I like it. I'm gonna keep it on my lap to keep my lap warm because I'm always cold. All right, next. We got something from Kate Spade. Oh, they're socks. I think I chose this, I can't remember. They have like stickies on the bottom and they're like kind of two-toned. Like it looks like it has a little doodad there. So like it looks like a Buckle? Interesting. They're no show. So maybe I could wear them with like a pair of cut pants. But that's nice. Cool. I got a kind bar. I think that's just one of those trial things. Okay. This is from Noir. And it just looks like a couple scrunchies. Can I get this bag open? Just a pair of scrunchies. They come apart. I just don't want to. I can't get that apart with my fingers. Yeah. Oh, no, there's three. Oh, oh. And they're different animal print, which I don't usually wear animal print, but maybe that could be fun for just a little bit of fun in my hair. These I'm really excited about, and this is how you can tell I'm an adult. They are Epar, Epar, set of four cutting boards. And it kind of tells you on them what you can use them for. So, like seafood, veggies, chicken, meat. BPA free, dishwasher safe. I make a lot with my HelloFresh and I feel like we either have a really small cutting board or one giant one. So these will be nice to have. This one, I'm always trying to get new creams. This Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. Within four weeks of use, eye contours are visibly smooth. Puffiness appears decreased, dark circles decrease. Smooth skin, reduce puffiness, and your dark circles. I feel like this is deceiving because it looks like a big thing, but then if you actually look in and see. Actually, that, that's a decent amount of product. It smells like lotion. 
But yeah, I'm almost out of the whatever one I'm using right now. I think it's from a boxy charm. So I'm gonna try this one. Let's see, this is from Wish, W-H-I-S-H. Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub. It gently exfoliates, smooths and softens. Cruelty free, has all these chemicals, no sulfates, no parabens. It looks a little bent. I don't know if you can see, it's like a little dent in there. Anyway, exfoliates using brown sugar, raspberry seed, organic bamboo powder, and moisturizes using organic shea butter, organic raspberry butter, and organic aloe, renews with vitamin E extract, and organic avocado oil. Directions. Gently apply a small amount over dry cracked lips, remove any excess sugar with a soft cloth or warm water. I have like the Lush lip scrub, and that's all I've really used. This looks like you can put it like directly on your lip. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, I like that. I'll have to give that a try. Maybe that'll just be, maybe that could be like my morning lip scrub and then I'm gonna have the last one as like an evening lip scrub. I don't know, we'll just try it out. This is from Ilia, Ilia. Limitless Lash Mascara. The shade after midnight. Ooh, I like the packaging. It's very nice and clean. Yeah, just limit lash mascara, so I guess it's... Ooh, clean build over lengthening mascara with a cult following. Lightweight flake-free formula is made with natural waxes and organic shea butter to weightlessly condition and ar arginine, arginine to fortify lashes. A dual-sided brush allows you to define lift and separate precision. Ooh, that's like a nice brush. It smells like something. It smells like saline. Like you know that stuff you put up your nose when you're sick and it's congested to like help wash it out? That's what it smells like. That's weird. But I'm gonna try it. And this is from phase zero and it's the Mickey Moves Blusher. Which makes me think that this is like a British or a European brand because we don't really call it blusher in America. I feel like it's gonna be that orange color. I'm a little nervous. Oh, okay. Um, it's a little orangey, but it's more peach in real life. But I'm trying to use more blush, different or not more blush, but different colors. So that could be really helpful. Try it out. But now we get to play my favorite game of how much was this box worth? Each box is supposed to be minimum $200 worth of product. There's different subscriptions you can get on the website. I do the annual one just because it's easier and I just kind of like getting one every couple of months with some new themed stuff. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Come feel this blanket, it's faux fur. <laughs> Some gag rails, please. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm scaring my roommates. Just ignore me. All right, back up to the the thing. What's in the box? The first category that I'm going to look at is one that all members got to pick from. So this is number one. I got the blanket, which is sixty-five. This is faux chinchilla. Interesting. It's very soft, whatever. I don't even like, you know, care too much what it is. For the two category, which is also all numbers, I got the Alginist Eye Renewal Balm, which is $68. Eye cream is such a ripoff. It's so expensive. So expensive for not a lot of product. Excuse me. For the three, I got the Ilia Mascara, which is $28. I got the Kate Spade, oh, they're workout socks. Those were $24. For the five category, I got the cutting board set of four, and those were $19.95. For the six, I got the Wish Lip Scrub, which was $20. This is interesting, it's a shipping restrictions apply, so I wonder if it's like not every customer could get it, depending on where they live. I got the Noir Jewelry Ombre Leopard Scrunchies, $25. And I got the Phase Zero Blusher, which is $27.50. So my total for my box was $277.45. So 
So, like I said, that's above the $200 limit or promise. Uh, I think my favorite thing out of this box so far is obviously gonna be this blanket. I'm gonna go sit on the couch and play some Sims and cuddle in this blanket. But yeah, there's a couple good products in there that I, get, I can get a lot of use out of. The thing I like about FabFitFun is it, I feel like it's more useful products than just like a beauty box where every month you're getting stuff and TBH when I did that. When I had my beauty boxes, a lot of the times I got products I just give away to people or just stuff that I was like, oh, I'll use this and then just sits in my makeup bin and I don't actually use it. I actually just did another makeup declutter like today while I was doing my makeup and got rid of a couple palettes. I like FabFitFun because it's more useful products. Maybe do, I'll do an end of the year like best of subscription box video. Talk about the things I use the most, things I use the least, things I didn't like. I have a couple video ideas planned, so you might see some more uploads. Or you might not. Anyway, short video, but unboxing doesn't really take that long. I'm gonna finish this now before I just keep rambling forever. If you like this, this, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've used any of these products, if you have any opinions, if you get fat fit fun, what was in your box. And uh, subscribe to see more. I wanna hopefully start uploading more. I'm gonna try to get back into streaming too on my Twitch channel. So follow that, the link's in the description. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, again, link's in the description. Uh, I mentioned in my previous videos that I'm doing free tarot readings right now because I'm trying to practice readings and getting better at that. So if you are interested in that, you can message me on Instagram, link's in the description. Instagram's just the easiest place to contact me. You can message me on Twitter, but it's just Instagram, I'm most likely gonna see it. But I hope you guys are having a good end of 2020. We're almost out of it. We're almost out. But the problem's gonna go away? No, but at least it will be out of the year and we can have a whole new year of problems. I was trying to be positive. It's not working. I'm gonna go cuddle on the couch with this blanket. Uh, so again, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to see more, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!